Hey guys, it's the Soul of Coffee Day, and so this Monster Legends Guides video, I'm gonna be telling you guys once again how to get a bunch of gems. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so currently uh, there is a yet another breeding event going on that will get you a bunch of free gems if you do it. So, and of course that breeding event is a collector's breeding event, and you can see all the monsters right here. And all of these monsters have one thing in common, and that is that they are all inside of the same book. They are all inside of the Sea Old Guard book. So, of course, if you get any of these monsters especially the mythic ones you should be able to get the gems pretty easy so go and go into breeding map breed any of these try to get as many as possible because if you can get three that would be best and then you go on into dungeons but first i'm going to tell you guys which ones are the best the best out of these like all of these i would probably say is marlinot urchinon's decent mermaid spearband's decent but yeah i do think that marlinot is the best one out of these sea quake is probably the worst so yeah go ahead and go for marlinot and whatever other ones you want and then go on into dungeons and then once you're in dungeons go on into the era sagas and then you can go into the newest one the abyssal era and you can see that there's an old sea guard book right here and then there's another one right here so you not only get all of the gems for completing all of the different nodes as you can see here five gems ten gems you know all the gems but you also can go ahead and get an ancestor relic which is amazing and you can also get an ancestor relic in the other one the first one right here and both of these ancestor relics are some of the best so they're definitely worth getting so yeah all you need to do is go ahead and breed any monster in that book inside of this breeding event you have five days and 16 hours to do it a little less when this video comes out and then you just gotta go on into the dungeons and a fight inside of those era sagas and then you will get a ton of gems and you don't only get gems from the first level the easy level you can also get gems from the hard as well as the medium so yeah make sure to do all three of these to get the most gems possible so yeah that's what we have for this video definitely try to get as many monsters out of the sealed guard book as possible and try to complete some of these pages as well because you can also get some food out of that to level up all your monsters and yeah see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe more videos like this bye